Hi, I'm Dave. This is Cider Baby Pod, and today I'm speaking to Hell from Ignia. Hello. Hi, nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, Ignia, they're a Ukrainian band, yeah? Yeah, exactly. 100%. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Um, you've got a new album coming out, Dreams of Lands Unseen. This is coming out, what, week Friday? Yeah, it's actually like less than two weeks. So the 28th of April, very yeah. soon. Okay, it's quite a story behind the whole album. It's a concept album, I believe, yes? Yeah, it's a concept album about um, a Ukrainian travel photographer, documentarian, writer, Sofia Yablonska, who lived and traveled in the 20s of the previous century. Okay, so about we're talking about 100 years ago then, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, from what I can gather, she traveled alone. Yeah, so very... So Exactly. It was very uncommon for a woman of her time, and she traveled to quite exotic places like Morocco, Bora Bora, New Zealand. So it was everything was far away. They didn't mm. really have, you know, airplanes um, back then, like a very common transport. And yeah, she was traveling all alone and documenting the lives of tribes and natives. So basically, she made a breakthrough in travel photography as well. Yeah, I mean, she's obviously quite an empowered woman, uh, especially at that time. I mean, we're seeing empowerment coming in so many different forms these days. Uh, it, it, she must be an in, inspiration to yourself as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, we actually wanted to make an album related to traveling because we were sitting mm. in the middle of the pandemic. And at first, I wanted to probably uh, dedicate each song of the album to different travelers, yeah, different times. But when I learned about her and I started reading her books, I was so mind blown that I decided we should just uh, make an entire album about her. So it's a conceptual album then. I mean... Um... For me, listening through, I was quite blown away because it's such a powerful album in itself. Even if you take away the um, uh, the whole subject matter itself, just listening to the music is quite powerful. I, I wouldn't call it so much symphonic metal, but it's quite progressive in its own right. And um, it's pushing at the boundaries of what we set today as, you know, given in the music and metal industry. I mean, was this a conscious decision to do? Was it, you know, just push a little bit for, further? Mm -hmm. Just, uh, You know, so basically, I don't really think that we are a symphonic metal band, although no. many people call us this way simply because we do have some symphonic arrangements in pretty much everything we do. Yeah. But I really think that we are getting closer and closer to progressive metal, but maybe not in terms of like super long songs with very strange structure, because most mm. of our songs are recognizable. You can, you know, yeah. sing along and whatever, but maybe because of the number of elements we use, it is progressive because yeah. we have like symphonic uh, orchestral arrangements, electronic stuff, synthesizers, uh, different folk uh, instruments. Like you can hear some Chinese tunes on this mm. album and Middle Eastern ones. Uh, there are some breakdowns and blast beats, some, you know, small kinds of black metal, death metal. So, yeah, I think that, you know, it's just progressive in terms of the richness of the arrangement, I would say so. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I definitely agree with that. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's refreshing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, some bands get stuck in a particular genre and they just can't move from those boundaries. And you've done so well with this album. Uh, um, um, you start, like you say, you, you can hear like the Chinese and you can hear the Moroccan and the Middle Eastern elements, but you start, you seem to start as a travel document itself you start from one area and you slowly progress and you can hear the change subtle changes in the music as you're going through and you're like visiting different areas i mean that's that's quite impressive i was i was really taken aback by that that was really good thank you so much yeah that was one of the things because we're basically reflecting her life mm. and her travels 
And um, we also sometimes uh, sometimes think of our music as of a soundtrack to whatever we're, uh, you know, speaking about, because the previous album, it was also a concept album. So we mm. want it to be some kind of a journey and we want storytelling to be a huge part of our music, you know, and we are really glad that people often hear it, you know, by listening to our records. Yeah. Uh I mean, favorite tracks for me. I mean, Dunes obviously was a single. Um, Incurable Disease is a fantastic track, but to no one I owe, I think it's probably my favorite track of the album. Um, so, so tell me, tell me a bit about to no one I owe. Just tell me a bit about that song. Yeah, that's interesting that you picked up this song because actually I was uh, hoping we would make it as a single, but right. uh, we were, you know discussing it with the label and they came up with some other tracks. Um, but To Know When I Owe oh is actually a track dedicated to all the vagabonds and travelers. And if you take Sofia Jablonska, she was traveling a lot, which mm. faced a lot of misunderstanding, uh, especially among women of her time mm. who were mostly sitting at home, raising children, you know. And uh, it's also interesting that wherever she traveled, she really adapted well with the locals and they often asked her to stay with them okay. and she actually could because for her it was also interesting to get deeper into the local culture but as the time went by she always packed her luggage and went further because she was so you know interested in discovering new places so yeah this song is literally you know about the nature of vagabonds and travelers and i can relate to that as well you know <laughs> so uh, and also interesting that if you hear the melodic part of this music mm. it's actually based on some traditional tunes in the western part of ukraine yeah which gets to the roots of sofia yablonska because she's from that area but at the same time it sounds a little bit tribalish and also a little bit middle easternish and it's interesting because it's like so far away geographically but they yeah. have some similarities you know mm. okay um so if you were to pick out um say a track uh from the album and say mm -hmm. this is us at the moment that this this one track is ignia at the moment which which track would you pick out that is um that is complicated i would say that maybe dunes because mm. you have everything that Ignea has at this point, including folk Middle Eastern tunes that has been a part of Ignea for a very long time since the first records. We've got uh, symphonic arrangements, we've got a keyboard solo mm. because our composer is a keyboardist. You also have a short part in Ukrainian lyrics and we started incorporating them more and more. And you have growls and clean vocals. Yeah. So Dunes is like the most representative track maybe it's not the most unique one out of hmm. everything we made but it represents us well okay um are you hoping to tour this album fairly soon or uh yeah we were but ukraine is still um in the middle yeah. of the war and uh it's very hard for men to leave the country because they can be mobilized to fight and at this point it's very hard and you can also see the bands canceling their tours so we all are trying to find a solution in this. And I really hope that we will tour because we have some big festivals this summer and we are trying to build up a tour uh, this autumn. So let's okay. keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, I won't hold you up any longer because we had a couple of false starts here at the beginning. So I know you've got lots to do and people to speak to but thank you so much for your time to speak to me today it is a fantastic album dreams of land unseen it's out a week friday um thank you so much and i wish you the very best thank you so much for having me and i hope that you and uh, your listeners will uh, check out this album like in more in-depth or for people who haven't listened to it please check it out the pre-orders are running the several singles are out and soon you will also see a video for the song incurable disease which is oh. going to be out on april 27th yeah Excellent. thank you so much yes and hope to see you at our shows someday take care take care too <laughs>